Hello. In today's demo video, we will look at how you can use Researcher Life to find research papers that are relevant to your work. Researcher Life has a service which provides artificial intelligence driven reading recommendations which are relevant to your interests. We recommend papers from over 80 million plus publications and 32K plus journals, which helps you in breaking the cycle of searching for research. We also find smart tangential recommendations in related topics, which helps you stumble upon topics which are otherwise very easy for you to miss out. So let us look at how you can make use of your dashboard in order to set up your reading feed. So within your dashboard, in the personalization section, you go to the research select topics of interest section. Within here, when you click on it, you will have the option to add your field of interest. So once you search for your topic of interest, you can click on next. And within the next section that comes up, you will be able to choose papers recommended to you, which are relevant to your liking. So out of these top papers, which are recommended based on your interest, you can choose which is the most relevant paper to you. Select a minimum of three, a max of five, and click on next. Once you've completed these two steps, you will have something similar to this, which is an interesting read section on the dashboard. So from this section, you will be able to see the interest that you have chosen, the topics that you added during the onboarding. You'll be able to see a list of six articles which are relevant to your interests. And you will also see some tangential recommendations which are related to your topics. So within the article, you can do multiple things. If you feel that the article is relevant to you and you want to read it later, you can choose to bookmark it. If you feel that you the article is relevant and you want to view the full paper, you can click on that. Or if you feel that it's not relevant to you, you can choose to hide this paper and the recommendations would load by hiding that particular paper. And in some cases where we have a downloadable PDF available for the paper, you can choose the download PDF option. In papers where the PDF is not available, you will see it similar to this where you won't find that particular option. If you click on view more, you will be directed to our reading platform, which is called as Discovery, where you'll be able to see a detailed feed on the different types of articles recommended to you based on your interests. The first section here talks about the top three articles that you can read. Clicking on show more papers will show you more recommendations. The next section shows you research published in your interest within the last six months. And also the next section shows you the tangential recommendations which are related to the topics that you already added. There is something that we recently introduced called weekly roundups, which are summaries of handpicked papers around trending topics which are published on a weekly basis. So if you feel something among this is relevant to you, you can browse through this and you can click on read more. And you can choose to give a feedback directly from the discovery platform. Also, once you have read some articles, if you want to revisit them, you can access them within my history section here or from the top. If you have saved some articles, it will appear here in the my library section, or you can choose to move to the my library section specifically from here as well. In case you want to explore any topic in depth, you have the option to do so from here. If you go further into any topic, then you will be able to see what are the papers published in recent years within this topic? How many articles have been published in it in the last 50 years? Related topics. And you also have the option to filter further on authors, journal duration, etc., where you'll be able to find related recommendations within that particular topic. This particular section, like I mentioned, shows you related recommendations to your topics. So if you click on explore, it will take you to a page where you'll be able to see recommendations which are related to the topic that you chose plus the topic that we recommend to you. If you feel these are relevant to you, then you can choose to explore them, read them, or save them for later. So this is how you can use your Researcher Life dashboard to find papers which are relevant to your interest. 
in case you have any questions that are not addressed within this video, you can always go to the FAQ section and look at the readily available questions. And even then, if it's not addressed, then you can choose to write to us and we will respond to you. In case you have any feedback for us, feel free to rate us from this pop-up array link at the bottom of the dashboard. And we will be looking at your feedback and trying to implement what your needs are within Researcher Life. Hope this video was useful to you. Thank you so much.